Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my continued coverage of the Tega V2 tablet from Tega Tech. And if you want to check out the full specifications and a product tour of this device, you're going to have to check back earlier on my channel. There's a video up there with a full product tour of the Tega V2. Well, this video is all about Windows 7 and this is what you're presented with when you first turn on the device. It's one of two operating systems that are actually installed, so this is dual boot in its current configuration. Now, you've got the familiar start bar here, nothing new there, list of applications. Some of them I've installed since getting hold of the device, such as TweetDeck and Zinio Reader. There's a lot of stuff pre-installed as well. You can tap and hold perhaps on computer, and this brings up a little animation and then the contextual menu, menu, and you can tap on properties, and this will give you some information about the device. Let me just minimise that. Uh, we've got an Intel Atom N455 processor running at 1.66 gigahertz, two gigabytes of RAM installed, and a 32-bit version of Windows 7 Professional on this particular device. Now you can get it configured with other versions. Um, you can get it with Windows 7 Home. And that particular model is actually on offer at the moment. It's about 799 US dollars, 500 pounds. So well worth checking that out. That's the sort of starting point price for this particular device. Everything else you would expect to find on Windows 7 is the same. Um, I do have a little bit of trouble closing these applications sometimes. Um, but let me get this to close this window down. There we go. Uh, it's probably just user uh, error rather than anything else. We've also got some applications here called Swipe Beta and Thinix Touch. I'm going to be showing you that in a separate video. But we've got all the normal things such as internet browsing, etc. We've got the taskbar down the bottom here. We can gain access to the battery level. At the current state, we've got 1 hour 24 minutes left. We can also gain access to the wireless connections and the sound. Now the sound's very important. There's no external controls for the sound. There's no rocker switch for turning the sound up and down. So you are relying on this on-screen interface to adjust the sound. You can also gain access to Explorer uh, to look around libraries, video and music. Just have a look at pictures. These are some sample pictures that were pre-installed on the device. And it does a very good job. It's nice and responsive very very good for loading pictures up you can of course scroll through them or play a slideshow if you want to but overall the screen is very nice it's nice and responsive the only thing I would say is that it's um, quite difficult to hit the right spot as you saw there I was trying to hit the back arrow there and I hit the wrong place on the screen it does pick up your touches or presses most of the time it's a capacitive touch screen so it does a, a reasonable job of doing that all I would say is that when you watch my future videos on this device, I'm going to be covering off uh, what I referred to a minute ago, which was the uh, sort of text entry um, and also Thinix Touch, which offers up like a simpler UI to gain access to a lot of things. So that will make a lot of sense in those future videos. As it stands, Windows 7 isn't brilliant on a touchscreen, but what Tegatech have done is they've installed the extra applications to make the whole experience a lot nicer. I will give you a brief sneak peek look at one of those now. If I start up a new browser page for the internet, as soon as I uh, have got anywhere that I might want to enter text, for example here, then a swipe uh, menu does pop up. So this is one of the ways you can enter text. There's also another keyboard, if I can just get hold of it, on the side here and that gives you another on-screen keyboard for inputting text as well so I'm going to show you those different text entry methods in a future video so thank you very much for watching this video the next video on the Tega V2 is going to cover internet browsing and YouTube just so you get an idea of some video performance so until next time enjoy your technology and I'll see you in the next video this video review is sponsored by EasyDraw making drawing fun on Mac OS X.